Hi ladies and gentlemen, Upper Kabak. Thank you for your interest in the International Markets Update for Malaysia. My name is Karen Saw, the Business Development Manager of Tourism Australia in Malaysia. On behalf of my country manager, Elin Lauk, I would like to take you through the following slide, sharing with you the insights about the performance of Malaysia market, key trends, highlight the key challenges, and the opportunity to work together to discover the potential of this market. Let's get started. For the first time in 60 years, we had a change of government in May 2018. What does this mean? There is a significant impact on travel leading to Malaysia general election. Due to the change of government, we didn't forecast the post-election impact. This is just like Melbourne Cup event, which stopped the nation for the day. Malaysia election caused the delay and stopped Malaysian travel overseas, as we, Malaysians, wanted to be in the country for the change. Malaysia is experiencing a slow but steady recovery supported by the pent-up demand. Malaysia continued to perform well and achieved the record number of 400,000 arrivals for 2018. This made Malaysia the seventh largest inbound market for Australia. It is interesting to note that the arrivals are dominated by leisure segment which contribute 86% of total arrivals. Strong incentive movement in 2018 were also a major contributor for the strong arrivals. This is a market where operators like yourself would see great potential for your business and wish to get a part of leisure's business. Malaysia is the ninth largest market for total visitor expenditure. Contributed 1.3 billion spent for 2018 and 10 for visitor nights. Most travelers travel to mono gateway or maximum two gateways per trip. This will allow us to further encourage travelers to explore the region for greater dispersal and increased length of stay. Let's take a look and learn on some of the key factors on what makes Malaysian travelers choose Australia for their holiday. Safety and security are the most important factor. The world-class nature beauty and the unique Australian wildlife definitely capture Malaysian travelers' interest. Although most of the Malaysian travelers are price sensitive, but do note that they are willing to pay for the product or experiences, offer them a unique or lifetime experiences that are value for money. Family friendly is another key factor, especially for the Malay traveler. They are normally travel with the young kids and or extended family. It is quite common to see two to three generations as part of this group, which is a trend across all races. Good infrastructure allows travelers easily access to the city and the region. This has been seen as a cost saving to their trip. If you are targeting the FIT travelers, we encourage you to include and highlight information how to travel around by the type transport where applicable. Working towards achieving the 2020 goal, our aim is to drive yield by targeting the high value travelers who spend at least two or three times more than the average traveler. Based on the research, the pool of high-value travellers in Malaysia is about 1.6 million and 1 million, which representing 24.1% of the Malaysian long-haul travel market already considering Australia. Compared to the global high-value traveller statistic, Malaysia high-value travellers tend to stay shorter, an average 6 nights compared to global, which is 30 nights. This is due to the close proximity of travel and high-value traveller focus on mono gateways instead of multi-gateways in a trip. 52% of high-value travellers are free and independent travel, and noticeable this segment normally travel with friends or multi-generation family. Most of them are likely pre book their accommodation, transport, and key experiences that is on their list while leaving one or two days free and easy. The direct aviation capacity options for the Malaysian travellers are limited as we mainly depending on AirAsia X, Malaysia Airlines, and Malindo Air, which accounted for 77% of market share. Travellers from the northern region will have to do one transit either via Kuala Lumpur or Singapore. Hence, Singapore Airlines is also one of the key allies used in this market. Travellers from the southern region would prefer to travel across the border via Singapore. Hence, we leverage on aviation assets out from Singapore such as Singapore Airlines, Qantas, Scoot, Jetstar and others. 
Most airlines will increase frequency or use bigger aircraft during peak season to cater for the high demand, and likewise will make reduction adjustment due to the low season. We work closely and invest in cooperative marketing activity with six key distribution partners in Malaysia. Corporate Information Travel, Holiday Tours, Malaysia Harmony and Sardunia Travel are the leading online travel agency in Malaysia. Where else? Forever Travel and Golden Deluxe are the leading wholesaler and group agency. We have delegates from all key distribution partners attending ATE. We encourage you to engage with them to see how you could introduce more product inclusion and new experiences to them for product development. We have an always-on campaign approach with our key distribution partner. The year begins with evaluation of their last campaign, get learning, and set objectives and targets for new campaign. We work closely with their product planners and operation team involving STOs for product development to introduce new experiences, training, and consumer events. We also leverage their social media platform, customer database, and distribution channel for conversion opportunity. The key distribution partners are committed to participate at Tourism Australia's key events, such as ATE, Australian Marketplace Southeast Asia, which known as Walkabout Southeast Asia in the past, In Market Roadshow, and Aussie Specialist Program activities. In addition, we partner with STO, offer familiar support for education and reward top performers. All these below-the-line activities are executed concurrently with media advertising activities, integrated campaign leveraging the entire ecosystem. Moving ahead, some of the challenges we foresee. Malaysia is a mature market with high repeat visitors. Travelers continue to look for new news, new regions, and new product experiences. Competitors are increasing their marketing investment and activity to gain market share. There is an increase in operators from competitors' destination doing market visit, mission, females to establish and build relationship to explain their distribution channel. We seek your continuous support, which is important for our market. The Malaysian travel distribution system is highly fermented and varied across the country. While there are a very few national retail agencies, most agents are small, independent businesses and contribute a varying percentage of business to Australia. There are more than 2,500 outbound travel agencies in Malaysia, with more than 500 agencies selling Australian products and packages. Key cities which Tourism Australia focus in is Kuala Lumpur and Surau, Penang and Johor Bahru. Due to the high percentage of overstay by Malaysian travellers, the visa application is now require a longer processing time, which is 14 days instead of instant confirmation in the past. Tourism Australia continues to work closely with Department of Home Affairs team to educate trade partners to ensure partners capturing the high value travellers to visit the country. There are some great opportunities to allow us maintaining relevance under such competitive environment. 2018 election outcomes created positive sentiment. A strong GDP forecast increased 4.6% and growing demand. Consumer confidence increased 13 points to 170. Ringgit Malaysia against the Australian dollar increased 10% year on year. Strong outbound, out of region travel up 4.1% year on year. Australia rank high in terms of aspiration, awareness, and intention to visit. We have large population of young and rising middle class whereby travel is part of their lifestyle and they travel minimum 3 to 4 trips a year. Malaysia population recorded for 32 million in 2018 and over 30% of population are middle class travellers and this month will increase to 80% by 2030. I would like to highlight this segment is chasing after the insta worthy experiences and hidden gem and seasonal activities. With the increase of capacity introduced in the market, aggressive promotion is expected and this will help to keep Australia competitive. There are many travel fairs across the country throughout the year. We 
strongly encourage you to focus on Mata Kuala Lumpur, which fall in March and September each year. Also, MITM Penang in July. Tourism Australia will continue to improve the single ecosystem campaign approach in market for conversion. We would like you to be part of our success story. We encourage you to do regular markets visit. For the first timer, Climb Valley would be your key focus. While for those operators who have been into the markets regularly, we encourage you to go beyond Kang Valley into the cities like Penang, Ipoh, Malacca and Johor. You may also keep regular contacts via email, calls and EDM. Tips for you. WhatsApp is commonly used in this market and consider most effective platform to stay connect and do business with our partners. Please get in touch with us prior to your trip as we could provide you with the latest market update and potential partners for your market visit plan. If your visit coincides with our local route show, we could potentially offer you a networking opportunity if time permits. We also encourage you to work with STO for trade and media from now to showcase your product and help educate our partners. Do support our key distribution partner for co-op campaign as these are the key partners committed their marketing dollars for long-term campaign to promote Australia. We also like to encourage you to offer exclusive promotion to support major travel fairs. Content is king. We love to know if there is any new and unique product from you. Content can be in short or long form and it would be great if it's social media friendly to use in the market. Stay connected with inbound tour operators and their distribution network. Also, your support to our Aussie Specialist Program via Travel Club, Fermel and Product Update is highly appreciated. This year, we have total 26 buyers, including 3 Platinum Club buyers attending ATE. There are 3 new buyers this year. Golden Century from Ipoh, World Connection, which is also known as Tour Ride, both are group and FIT player, and the golf specialist player, CIT Golf. Thanks for your time and attention. The team in Malaysia is looking forward to working with you together to realize the potential of the Malaysian market. If you have any question, feel free to contact us. Thank you.